Hello, everyone. It is What's Up Wednesday for September 25th. Um, today, we're going to be covering the second part of the lead management system, um, which is how you can edit email drip campaigns, monthly letters, where those are, um, <laughs> and different things like that. Um, next week, we're going to be doing um, the new design lab that's still in beta. Um, but it's really cool, um, different ways to create <clears throat> Facebook cover images and um, images for Facebook timeline, Instagram, things like that. So we'll be going through that next week. Um, and just a few new things, and I know one of them is not new if you're here every week. I've mentioned it for weeks and weeks, but it's um, a really great feature to have on your website with us, and it's a great for lead generation. Um, and that's the advanced search on your website. Um, so you have the advanced search. You can have it on your um, personal website with us. Um, it allows people to go and search for homes using advanced um, fields. Uh, we do have two different searches. We have our basic one, um, and then we have the advanced one. And there obviously is an additional charge for those. Uh, but when you go to set it up, because it varies per MLS, it'll let you know what it is. Um, but this is what the advanced search looks like for those who haven't seen it yet. Um, you see it does have the normal um, features, normal fields. Then you come down here and you have other fields. <clears throat> High school district, subdivision. If you're in a place where there's water, then you have waterfront features, um, view type, pool features, exterior, all kinds of things. And depending on your MLS, we get a lot of different fields from a lot of different MLSs. Um, so if there's a field you don't see on the on the advanced search, on the advanced search, um, then just let us know. And it may be as long as it's a field that the, your MLS sends us um, or has available, then we can add it to your search as well. Because I know in different areas of the country, um, there are certain features that would be important to search by. I mean, obviously here in California. Um, waterfront features is big, pool features, that kind of thing. Those are those are big things people may search by. Um, so just always know to ask us because it could be a field we could add to yours as well. Um, oh, to set up the advanced search or the other search, uh, that is done from the little gear in the top left corner of your account. And then you can choose either IDX access, which is the basic search, or you can choose IDX advanced search. Now, keep in mind, when you do the advanced search, not only do you get this advanced search page, but you also get other search pages. You get the ability to, for people to search by the actual MLS, uh, the property MLS number. Um, they can search by address. They can do a map search or even just a basic search, which is just obviously just the basic fields. Um, so you do get more than one search when you pay for that advanced search feature. Um, and you can have the registration pop up as part of the lead generation um, where you can have them register and that can be either forced or optional to fill out as well. So good lead generation uh, for that search feature. Um, <clears throat> another newer feature, um, I think this was probably a week or two ago, um, is the ability for you, if you have a coming soon listing or you wanna get your listing into agent marketing before it goes in the MLS, we now have a way for you to, once it is in the MLS, for you to connect it to the listing here um, so that you don't get a duplicate coming in for anybody who's had that happen. You understand what I mean. Um, because what happens is that if you add a listing in manually before it's in the MLS and you have your agent marketing account set up to automatically pull your listings in, it will pull in a duplicate. Um, if you add it in manually, um, it'll also pull in the duplicate. So this solves that problem. Um, to link up a listing to the listing in the MLS, you would simply go to property and then properties. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, and then you would go to edit for that listing. And obviously you would have the MLS number here. I don't have it in here. Um, and then all you have to do is click this little link button right here. It says click here if you want to link this listing to a listing at the MLS. So very simple. Once you click this, it'll give you a little notice that says, okay, well, you know, is this the listing we're, we're connecting to the listing in the MLS? It'll ask, ask you to match it up <clears throat> by address and that, that's it. Very easy to do. And then um, you'll be able to repull photos if you change them in the MLS or repull description. Um, 
and the price will automatically update as well too if you link it up to the MLS. So great feature <clears throat> um, we finally have so that if you do want to put your listing into agent marketing before it goes uh, live on the MLS, um, you can do that without getting a duplicate. Okay, so last week we talked about um, how to stay in front of your leads, where you can put your leads in. Um, obviously, we talked about how you go to leads and clients and all the different things you can do from there um, for your leads, how you can set them up on email drip campaigns, um, monthly newsletters, both of which we provide you. <clears throat> you can make notes, <clears throat> excuse me. You can put them in categories, groupings. You can see here we have some that are in different groups. Um, not sure if I mentioned it last week, but once you have them in different groups, you can also filter them by those groups if you only want to see that group come up on a page. Um, so we do have the filters there too. As you can see, you can filter by just about any uh, drop down menu we have in there. Um, so just as a refresher, obviously this is your lead management screen. Um, today we're gonna be going through where you go to check out the email drip campaigns <clears throat> or to edit them or to check out the monthly newsletters or to edit those. Um, and for that, that's going to be under leads and then email drip. You can get to it from leads over here on the left side or from up at the top, you'll see email drip there as well. Once you click on email drip, you're gonna see all the different email drip campaigns we provide you. Um, the title of the campaign, um, for each one is there as well. And then on the right side, you're gonna see four little icons. Edit is if you want to edit the <clears throat> actual campaign name, um, not the letters, but just the campaign name. Um, you would do it from that edit button. If you want to see what the letters look like for the campaign, you simply click on the letters icon. That's gonna pull up all the different letters you have for that um, email drip campaign. You can then go and view what each of the letters looks like. You'll see here. And anywhere you see this, that's going to pull in that client's name. It's not gonna look weird like this. It's gonna pull in that client's name. Um, if there's something you want to change about an email in an email drip campaign, you simply click on edit. And that is going to pull up the screen where you can change several things. Um, you can change how, when it goes out. Like for right now, this one, um, from the time they were put in to agent marketing and to your lead management system, this goes out one hour after. Um, you can change the subject name, you can change or add to um, <clears throat> um, the actual letter. And you'll notice a bunch of these different um, variables as we call them. There's a list over here on the right side. Um, basically what those are is this one, of course, is going to replace this with their name. It will pull in that client's name. And when you see this one right here, um, where it says I, we, um, if you're a team or you're an individual agent, um, in your setup profile page, there's a place to choose whether you're a, a single um, individual agent or if you're part of a team. Um, and then that way it will choose whether or not it uses I or we. Obviously, if you select individual on your profile page, it will use I. If you select team, then it will use we. Same thing with my and our, um, it, will, it will use that as well. So just a few variables um, for those. It will choose the right one for you. You can change things. If you wanna add more to this, you can, here's your list of variables you can use. Um, as well, if you need any help with that, you can just give us a call. Um, once you make any changes to an email and an email drip campaign, just always make sure you click save. Um, and then if you don't want a specific email in an email drip campaign, you can always just delete it um, <clears throat> from that email drip campaign. So obviously we're gonna go back to the different campaigns. Um, so, so far we've covered edit. That will let you edit like just the name of the campaign. The letters will let you edit and view the letters. Clients, this will let you know, it will sit right now, it's a zero out of zero, but this will let you know um, what how many clients you have on the campaign. Um, it will let you know um, the different clients, oops, sorry, 
um, how many clients you have on a specific campaign. And then obviously, if you, for some reason, don't want a campaign, a certain campaign at all, you can just click delete and that will take your, um, your campaign out of there. Now, you have a lot of different campaigns here. Um, you'll see there's one for buyers, there's one for sellers, um, and then different, just all kinds of different ones you can see. Um, you can add your own in. If you want to create your own campaign, you absolutely can. It can have as few as one letter in there. That's all you have to have, or one email in there. Um, but if you want to create your own campaign, you're going to click Add New, which I did. Um, you're going to give it an ID number. This is just has zero effect. Um, you just give it a number. So let's just say, we'll say 100. Whoops, I got to put my cursor in there. Um, and then display, you could say um, whatever you want this email drip campaign to be about. Um, we'll say getting ready to move. I don't think that's one we already have that could be. Um, so then that will create the campaign. Make sure I click save. No, I did not. Okay, save is in here. Um, okay, so we've created a new campaign. It's going to show up down at the bottom, getting ready to move. Um, it has zero letters in it. So that's when you can go and click on the letters icon. And then you're just going to start clicking add new. So you're going to click add new. So we're going to say um, after this certain uh, the lead comes in or if there's somebody you want to you want to put on this email drip campaign, we'll say one hour. Um, and then for subject, we'll say um, maybe so you are thinking, I can't spell this morning, of moving. Okay. And then here is where you're going to put in the body of your email body of email here. And then of course, always click save. So now you've started your own campaign. You're gonna put in as many letters as you want. Um, and once you're all done, obviously it'll show all your letters on your campaigns page. You'll see now our getting ready to move campaign now has one letter in it. Um, so then you'll be able to keep adding letters until you've got all the ones in there that you want. Um, the good thing about all these email drip campaigns also, as far as leads go, is that you can also automatically have clients set up on specific email drip campaigns. If you don't want to do it manually every time a lead comes in from our system, um, the trick is, is if you go to edit up here where your photo is, and then go to notifications, remember this is notifications, how you want to be notified of leads coming in. Over here on the right side, you're gonna see an auto drip column. This is where you can automatically set them up to start receiving an email drip campaign once they come into the system. Um, so obviously you would want to make it, um, obviously there are gonna be different ones for different lead generator functions. Um, for example, if someone's texting for more information on a specific property, that probably means they might be interested in buying a new home. So you would want to come over here and you would want to choose um, one that would pertain to what they're looking for. So you could do wanted to search the MLS or you could do looking for info about buying a home. So you can set all of these up that way um, so that they're automatically set up on this specific email drip campaign once they come into the system. So it's more automated. Um, you don't have to do it manually. Of course, doing it manually is super simple as well. I showed you how to do that last week. Um, from the client page. <clears throat> okay, back to email drip. Um, now I want to show you, okay, we've gone through the campaigns, um, the letters we've also gone through. Um, this is where you can go in and you can select a specific campaign. Um, and it will show you the letters that way as well. So it's kind of a different way to get to those letters for specific campaigns. Um, campaign options is just email signature. Um, I think we're going to be revamping this here sometime soon, but for now, we do go ahead and give you a default email signature, and this is what it is right there. We pull in your photo, your logo, um, your name, and your phone number, and all that kind of stuff right here, um, but if you wanted to change it up, you can, and it says right here for you to use specific things to show your picture, use that variable to show your logo, um, and you can then enter your own text, or you can enter HTML to format it exactly how you want. Um, but we do give it to you by default, so it will show on there automatically. 
Um, then you have the monthly letters. We will go there now. Um, if you're new to the monthly letters area, it will tell, it will be blank. Um, and it will tell you you need to get the default letters into your account. And to do that, you would just come up here in the top right and click the default button, and that will put all of the monthly letters in your account for you so that you can start using them. <clears throat> um, you'll see there's 12. We do offer you 12, one for each month. Um, and yet they're usually, um, the subject matter is about something that happens in that month. Obviously, like February is kind of Valentine's. Um, January is Happy New Year's, um, even you've got, you know, winter time, spooky time of year for October. So all of these. Now, the good thing about these is that you can edit the content on these as well. Um, if you just want to see what they look like, if you're new to this area, you can, let's choose the one that's coming up here. You can click on it and you'll see, here's what the newsletters look like. This is how they will go out. Obviously, here's that email signature you see. Um, and then it's just got some um, photos, some information. Notice it will, these monthly newsletters will pull in the market statistics. Now, they pull in the market statistics for the zip code of that client. So whatever zip code you have in for that client is what market statistics it's gonna pull in. <clears throat> and then you've got some more information here as well. Um, if we go back to the newsletter area, and I'll show you how you can edit these. You've got the edit button for each one. Once you click on edit, you're gonna see header image, right? That's the main photo up here. You can upload a different file if you want. Um, you can change the subject, the personal message you can change. The, a big difference between the um, email drip campaigns and these monthly letters is the fact that the monthly letters look more um, you have the photos. You can add videos to these monthly letters if that's something you like to do. The email drip campaigns are supposed to look more like a personal email that you wrote up to the person. That's why there's not a lot of photos in there and videos, and we don't put a, we don't allow any of that in those email drip campaigns because we want it to look like a more personal email that you wrote up really quick while you were thinking about this specific client. But for these monthly newsletters, you can go for it. You can add in videos and different things like that. Um, you can choose to turn off area stats if you want, and then you can modify the actual message, the body, uh, message of the body as well. Um, just so you know, if you want to put in a video, and I'm just going to kind of go through this really quickly, you can always call us if you need to go through it again. Um, if you were thinking about putting a video in here, <clears throat> if you make a video for each month or something, um, and you have the video on YouTube, when you go, there's a share button under the video on YouTube, and um, when you click on that, it gives you a choice for some embed code, um, E-M-B-E-D, embed. Uh, all you have to do is copy that embed code. You come in here, you click source, you literally just paste that code in right here, you click source again, and um, then you click save at the top, and that will actually just embed that video in there for you. Um, in fact, let me, I'll go over that really quick for you guys because it's super easy to do. Let me just pull something up real quick that I can embed in there. Um, oh, another thing about these that's really important is the date range. Um, more so, not necessarily for October since obviously Halloween is at the end of the month, but for any other month that you want, like take February for instance, um, that letter is, um, pertains to Valentine's Day, kind of. So you would probably want that to go out before um, Valentine's Day. So you can, you can set the date range for the letters to, for this, that specific letter um, to go out to all the clients before a specific date. So um, let's say you wanted it to go out before the 20th. So you could say, so I, yeah, so you would say, I want this letter to go out to all clients that are on the monthly letters between the 1st and the 20th. That way they'll get it before then. Make sure you click save. Um, so that's a way you can make sure it goes out before a specific date. Um, okay, so to embed the video, just real quick, um, obviously you're editing one of the monthly newsletters. Let me pull up this video. Here we go. 
me make sure I have this. Okay. Um, so here is the video. And you're going to click share. And then you get embed. And you just click that code. You copy it. You come back over here. You click source. And then all you do is put it where you want it. I'm just going to put it below um, the text. Put the cursor where you want it. You click paste. You click source again. And then you click save. And then that should show up where you put it. Well, it should. I don't know what happened there. I'll have to take a look at that. But that's how you would put a video in there. Um, maybe I, I copy, copy all the code or something. But it should show up right there when you have it. Um, so that's the monthly letters. Uh, if you want to delete a monthly letter, you can do that here. Um, you can even keep adding some. If you decided you wanted to keep adding to have more um, letters keep going out after a year, um, then you can add your own. And you can get as creative as you want. Um, but just remember, you can edit the content. And if you didn't want it to be about a specific season or a specific holiday coming up, you can definitely just change it all around um, so that it's more generic if that's something you need it to be. Um, so just remember to get to uh, the email drip campaigns and the monthly letters. You go to leads and then email drip. And then that's where you see all the different campaigns. Uh, you can go edit the letters from there. And then your monthly letters tab is there as well. And you can edit those monthly newsletters as well from here. Does anybody have any questions about the um, email drip campaigns or the monthly newsletters? Um, Holly asked the question, she said, is it possible to add attachments or video to the drip campaign emails? No. Um, like I just went over, you can add um, videos to those monthly newsletters, um, but not to the email drip campaigns. You can add a link in an email drip campaign, but not embed a video or add attachments. Any questions? No questions? OK, remember, if you have questions after What's Up Wednesday, um, our support team is here to help. Just give them a call. The number's in the top right corner of your account. Or just give them a chat with the chat bubble down in the bottom right corner of your account. Um, and they'd be happy to help you out. Um, and then we'll get this video up by this afternoon um, if you needed to watch it again. Um, but next week, again, we'll be covering Design Lab. And if there's no other questions, I will let you guys go. Um, have a great rest of your week, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye, everybody.